How's it going, folks? Tactar Ted. Let's have a little departure. Let's not talk about Ukraine. Let's not talk about the media. Let's talk about buying votes. Let's talk about higher education. So apparently we've got to a point where higher education obviously doesn't educate people. Because somehow we have reached a point where educated people don't feel compelled to live up to their commitments. They feel compelled to dodge responsibility and beg the government for a handout. Isn't that wonderful? We're educating people to be leeches. We are. Nobody forced you to take a loan. Nobody forced you to major in college in a career field where there's no opportunity to make the money back that you're investing into getting your certifications, which honestly, that's all a college degree is. It's a certification. Uh, it's supposed to mean that you're intelligent. It's supposed to mean that you put in hard work, but yet you can't figure out how to repay a loan. And what's even worse than that is you took it on yourself to get an education. You took it upon yourself to better yourself. And now you're wanting all the plumbers, all the car mechanics, all the factory workers, all the entrepreneurs who went out and made a life without that sheepskin, you're expecting us to pay for you. Exactly how does that work? Your college degree does nothing for me. Your college degree was for you. I have certifications. I have to keep my certifications up or I don't have a job. Do you pay for my certifications? Do you pay for my equipment that I use for my job? When was the last time you guys bought me a new service piece? When was the last time you guys bought me uh, a new can of pepper spray? When is the last time you guys bought me anything I need for work? When was the last time you paid for any of my certifications? Never. And I don't ask you to. I don't expect you to. That is for me. That is for me to make a living and provide for my family. I didn't ask you permission. You know, if I'm going to have to start paying for your student loans, then I guess I ought to have a say of who gets to go to university. I think that would be fair. If you don't have the right mindset, then highly possible you shouldn't be allowed to go to college. You know, it's amazing. All these higher learning places get these grants billions from the government literally billions in grants and yet education is not affordable that tells me that the problem is within the business model of these universities and higher learning obviously there's something wrong if we keep tossing in money and it's still unobtainable for students Students will never get that. No, we have professors, you know, with their six-figure salaries who are preaching socialism. They preach socialism, but they're benefiting from the capitalism of the corporate education system. Let's, let's call it corporate education, because that's what it is. It is a corporations built on education. It's a scam. And, uh, I believe all things have value. And education has value. Apparently, people are paying a lot more for the education than the actual value of it. And well, well we wouldn't have this problem if we had free education. No, if we had a free college degree, it would make a world of difference. Yeah, except there's a problem with that. I have literal 
intimate knowledge of what happens when you have a free college degree. My wife actually attained two college degrees in a country where you get one free college degree. Uh, my wife is a veterinarian by training. A veterinarian. Animal doctor. She can work on livestock. She prefer to work on pets. And she went in Russia, got her education. And guess what, folks? They were turning out a bunch of freely trained veterinarians without a bunch of veterinary jobs for them to move into. So what does that do? Well, that actually forces the wages of a veterinarian lower. It does. If I can have my pick of 15 different people applying for one job, I can kind of lure my wages and see who I can hook. That's the way supply and demand works, folks. And the Russians are understanding capitalism. And they were graduating a bunch of folks. Free education. But they couldn't get a job. Couldn't find a job unless they wanted to work for peanuts. In fact, when I, when I met my wife, uh, she was working in retail. Retail with a university degree in veterinary medicine. And of course, when she came here, the standards are different. We could have invested a lot of money uh, to get her certified to practice veterinary medicine in the United States of America. Instead, she's working in a company doing different analytical testing and uh, certifications. And it's paying her well. And we don't regret not getting a certification for her here. But my point is, you know, we used to make fun of college courses like underwater basket weaving, you know, stupid shit like that. Um, for me, this is interesting because why in the hell do you want to take out a big loan on something that isn't going to be worth it? It's like buying a new car. New cars depreciate. Um, I can't say that I've ever owned a new car in my life. Um, you know, when I buy a vehicle, always used, um, I make sure that the price versus the mileage versus the expected lifespan of that vehicle, what I'm expecting to get out of that, is going to make sense. I don't spend $40,000 on a junker that I don't think is going to make it off the lot. I'm not going to put out that kind of cash for something that's not going to give me a div dividend. Then why in the hell are you taking loans for higher education that aren't going to pay off? You know, I, I think we're all doing this backwards. You know, why you're picking what you would love to do because we have this idea that do what you love and you never work. Well, guess what, folks? I work. I don't say I love this, but I'm not opposed to it. I'm not offended by it. It's not, I don't go into work every day going, oh shit, this again. I've had jobs like that. And a lot of times that's due to your employer, which I have no issue. Uh, <laughs> Saying, hey guys, I gotta work, but not gotta work here. And I move along. Um I really, I really think that yeah, we kind of have our priorities kind of fucked up. You know what? You're taking people who aren't allowed to drink alcohol, not alone are allowed to buy a pistol because of their age, but you're allowing them to take out huge amounts of debt on a decision that's going to affect them the rest of their lives. Perhaps we ought to start, nobody goes to college till they're 21. 
I really don't think that's an age where you're really that responsible. Although I will tell you, I shouldered a weapon for my country at 17 with my parents' permission. Um, the fact is, you're you're expecting 17 year old seniors in high school uh, to pick the course of the rest of their lives. You know, I know people who've been married two, three times. Uh, haven't been exactly proficient at picking out someone who I can spend the rest of my life with. Why do you think that we need to uh, expect our children to pick a vocation that they are going to spend the rest of their life with? And especially when they don't understand that that profession is how they are going to repay that loan. That's how that works. If you want to get diversity studies, you better figure out how that is going to pay you to be able to repay your loan. And honestly, if we're going to play this welfare queen nonsense where you do what you want, somebody else pays for it. Um, you know, I, I would like uh, part of my mortgage that I paid over the years. I'd like part of that back free. Yeah, give it to me. No, you didn't have a choice in my house. I get to choose my house. And then I don't want to pay for it. You pay for it. Uh, you know what? I need to go out and have a brand new car. Brand new car. Give me the top of the line F-350 twin diesel stack so I can ruin the environment. I need that vehicle. That's what I want. And you get to pay for it. I want it. You pay for it. I ain't got to figure out how to pay for it. And yet we're trying to <laughs> groom these folks to be uh, responsible people, intelligent people, because they need an education, but they don't need responsibility. What the hell, folks? <laughs> Where do you think this country's heading? No responsibility. Oh, my. Oh, my. No responsibility. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just... just we we're, we really are destroying the ideas of uh, mo money and uh, compensation in this country. Um, local school system, for example, they have a uh, uh, they use a service called My School Bucks, and uh, I have to put money in it, and my kids type in a number, and their lunch is paid for. I don't agree with this. My kids are not learning to count change. My kids are not learning the actual value of money and that you have money in your pocket and once money is gone, you have no more money. No, they're a mystical, magical account that gets refilled um, magically. Magically, you just go to school and it's there. Uh, I don't agree with this. Uh, you know, like all children, I used to get my lunch money weekly, and I would do foolish things. I did that a couple of times. Didn't have money for lunch come the end of the week because I spent it on whatever. And I suddenly realized that, hey, I've got a finite amount of money to work with. I probably should use it where it needs to go. I shouldn't be buying frivolous nonsense. I shouldn't be wasting it into areas it was not intended to go. But we're teaching elementary school students up. And now we're fixing it so highly educated higher education people, products of the higher education system, don't have to worry about paying their shit back. Honestly. Honestly. And honestly, why why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we? Uh, we just blew 80 million, 80 billion, excuse me, with a B, 80 billion to prop up Ukraine. And uh, yeah, that's fine and dandy. Let's 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 prop up Ukraine as best we can. Let's give them Ukrainians tons and tons of cash. 
I've always said it would be better spent here. Um, although I still don't agree with something for nothing, which is basically any taxpayer having to pay off somebody else's student debt, something for nothing. Um, I really don't agree with propping up a government that engages in terrorism or if you make the mistake of speaking your native tongue and it's not Ukrainian, getting stretch wrapped to a pole and beaten and having your face dyed with paint so everybody can ridicule you for the next because that's, is that who we are as a country? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't guess so, but apparently that uh, doesn't seem to be a problem and a lot of people are willing to uh, support that sort of nonsense. But that's where we are, folks. Well, anyhow, I've ran it on long enough. I will talk at you folks later. Have a good day.